Well, first thing, uh, it implied that it came from outside the solar system because uh, uh, gravity cannot bind it to the sun. It was moving too fast for that. A survey team in Chile logged a new object streaking through our solar system. Within hours, panic set in. The object, 3i Atlas, wasn't just fast. It was on a trajectory that defied explanation. It looked as if there is a glow ahead of the object towards the sun instead of the typical tail that we see behind comets away from the sun. A path that seemed intelligently guided. What many overlooked in the initial chaos was its composition. Strange metal signatures, the kind you'd find in a factory, not deep space. This wasn't a natural discovery. This was the moment humanity realized that someone, or something, had sent a package. The Object of Dread. The story of 3i Atlas begins not with a bang, but with a quiet observation that would soon ripple through the scientific community with the force of a tidal wave. On the 1st of July, 2025, a team of astronomers at a remote observatory in Chile noticed a faint speck of light moving against the backdrop of distant stars. To put it mildly, this was no ordinary speck. It was an interstellar interloper, an object from beyond our sun's grasp, and it was moving at a mind-boggling 130,000 miles per hour. That's fast enough to travel from Los Angeles to New York in just over one minute. Designated 3I Atlas, the 3I standing for the third interstellar object ever detected, it immediately became the subject of intense scrutiny. But the more scientists looked, the less sense it made. What many overlooked in those first few hours was the object's bizarre behavior. Using advanced spectroscopy, a method that allows scientists to determine the chemical makeup of distant objects by analyzing their light, the team made a discovery that was simply impossible. 3i Atlas was shedding material, much like a regular comet. The wow factor here is that it wasn't shedding dust and ice, it was leaving a trail of nearly pure nickel. Every single second, the object was vaporizing about 10 pounds of industrial-grade metal into the void of space. You see, in nature, nickel is almost never found alone. It's almost always bonded with iron in asteroids and other celestial bodies. To separate nickel from iron on Earth requires massive industrial facilities, colossal amounts of energy, and advanced metallurgical processes. The thing nobody tells you is that finding pure nickel in space is like finding a stainless steel fork in a prehistoric cave. It just shouldn't be there. Yet, the data was undeniable. Iron, the ever-present companion of nickel, was almost completely absent. This was the first giant, screaming red flag. This wasn't a natural object. This was something manufactured. The discovery raised a chilling question. Who, or what, had the technology to refine metal on such a scale and then cast it into the interstellar ocean? The implications were staggering, sending waves of excitement and fear through observatories around the globe. This was no longer about astronomy. It was about contact. But the mystery didn't stop with its composition. Its main ingredient, besides the nickel, was carbon dioxide. In fact, it had the highest ratio of carbon dioxide to water ever seen in a celestial body. Eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water. Comets from our own solar system are fundamentally different, typically rich in water ice. This chemical signature screamed that 3i Atlas came from a place profoundly different from our own cosmic neighborhood. It was an alien, through and through, from its metallic skin to its frozen heart. Scientists were stumped, forced to confront a reality they had only ever read about in science fiction. And this was just the beginning. The strange visitor had more secrets to reveal, secrets hidden in its path across the heavens. A path of intent. If the composition of 3i Atlas was a mystery, its trajectory was an outright declaration of intelligence. Many people are crazy about finding patterns in randomness, but what astronomers were witnessing was anything but random. When an object enters our solar system, its path should be a simple, predictable curve, dictated solely by the immense gravitational pull of the Sun. But not all things are what they seem. The path of 3i Atlas didn't look like a simple curve. It looked like a guided tour. Instead of making one wide pass around the Sun and heading back out into the void, the object was performing a series of stunningly precise flybys of multiple planets. 
First, it swooped past Venus. Then, it adjusted its course and made a close approach to Mars. After that, it was on a trajectory for a flyby of the gas giant Jupiter. The probability of a random object charting such a course, hitting a gravitational sweet spot for three different planets in a row, was calculated to be just 0.005%. To put that in perspective, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning multiple times in your lifetime. This wasn't a coincidence. This was celestial navigation of the highest order. The wow factor is that this type of multi-planet flyby, using what's known as a gravity assist, is exactly what NASA does with its own probes, like Voyager, to save fuel and reach the outer solar system. It's a deliberate, calculated maneuver. What's even more baffling is how it entered our solar system. It came in on the same flat plane as all the planets, the ecliptic, but it was moving backward in what's called a retrograde orbit. This path is the perfect way for a probe to get close-up views of multiple planets in a single trip. It's efficient, it's methodical, it's exactly what an intelligent designer would choose for a reconnaissance mission. The object was behaving like a tourist with a detailed itinerary, and humanity was not on the list of planned stops. In fact, its closest approach to the sun, its perihelion, was scheduled to happen on the far side of the sun from Earth, making it incredibly difficult for us to get a clear view during its most active phase. It was as if it was trying to hide something, you see, the object was displaying all the hallmarks of a deliberate powered craft. Yet there was no visible engine, no exhaust plume, nothing to indicate a propulsion system. It was a ghost ship navigating the solar system with unnerving precision. This led to the inescapable conclusion that we were dealing with technology far beyond our own. The object wasn't just passing through, it was actively exploring. This revelation shifted the conversation from, what is it? to a far more urgent and terrifying question, what does it want? And as scientists looked deeper, the theories only grew more bizarre. The alien probe. With the evidence pointing overwhelmingly towards an artificial origin, the global scientific community was thrown into a frantic race for answers. At the forefront of this debate was the renowned Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who had previously stirred controversy by suggesting that our first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, was also a piece of alien technology. But 3i Atlas, he argued, was a far more blatant case. It wasn't just an odd-shaped rock. It was a functioning machine broadcasting its artificial nature to anyone who was willing to look. The thing nobody tells you is that behind closed doors, governments were scrambling, and the world's top minds were debating a handful of incredible, world-altering possibilities. One of the leading theories was that 3i Atlas was a probe, a self-replicating machine sent by a distant civilization. Many people are crazy about the idea of von Neumann probes, robots that travel to distant star systems, gather resources, and build copies of themselves to continue the exploration. The fact that 3i Atlas was shedding refined nickel could be a sign of this process. Perhaps it was using resources from its own structure to build smaller probes or repair itself. This theory painted a picture of a galaxy teeming with automated explorers, a vast, silent network of machines carrying out a mission started eons ago. Another, more philosophical theory was that the object was a message in a bottle. What if a civilization wanted to announce its existence, not with a fragile radio wave, but with a nearly indestructible artifact? by sending a probe made of advanced materials and programming it to follow a path that screamed intelligence. They could ensure their message would be understood by any species capable of basic astronomy. The strange metals weren't just a building material, they were the message itself, a testament to their technological mastery. Of course, there were darker possibilities. To put it mildly, some suggested 3i Atlas could be cosmic garbage. What if a highly advanced civilization simply discards its old technology by flinging it into interstellar space? We could be looking at the equivalent of a discarded soda can, a piece of alien trash that just happened to drift into our backyard. A more chilling thought was that it could be something more sinister, a precursor to an invasion or a surveillance drone monitoring our technological progress. A wow factor that many scientists considered was the idea of it being a celestial cedar, 
a probe designed to spread the building blocks of life, or perhaps even microscopic organisms, to habitable worlds, a process known as directed panspermia. Each theory was more mind-bending than the last, pushing the boundaries of human imagination. But none of them could be proven or disproven. The object remained silent, its purpose a complete enigma. It was a ghost in our solar system, its presence forcing us to confront the profound possibility that we live in a universe far more crowded and strange than we ever imagined. But perhaps the biggest question was the one nobody was asking out loud. The dawn of a new reality. As 3i Atlas continues its silent, majestic tour of our solar system, humanity finds itself standing at a crossroads. The evidence is all there, laid bare for us to see. An object of manufactured origin, navigating our celestial neighborhood with intelligent precision. We are no longer just looking at the stars. The stars, it seems, have sent something to look back at us. This isn't a blurry photo or a strange radio signal that could be dismissed as interference. This is a 10 pound per second trail of industrial grade metal, a fact as solid and undeniable as the ground beneath our feet. The thing is, we have to wonder, did all this really happen overnight? Is it possible we've missed other, similar objects before? For years, Oumuamua was treated as a one in a million fluke, an oddball that was probably just a weirdly shaped rock. But now, with three eye atlas, it feels like we've seen two of a kind. It makes you think, have these visitors been passing through for centuries, silent and unseen, while we were busy looking at our own planet? Our ability to scan the entire sky is a very new skill. What if the universe isn't silent, but we've just been deaf until now? The thought that dozens of these artifacts could have sailed right past us, their secrets lost to the darkness, is a truly humbling one. Many people are focused on what this object is, but maybe the more important question is what it represents for us. For our entire history, we have defined ourselves by our uniqueness, our position as the sole intelligence in a silent cosmos. 3i Atlas, it holds up a mirror to humanity and forces us to see ourselves not as the center of the universe, but as a small young species that may just be the new kid on a very old block. You see, this event changes everything it redefines our science, our religions, and our very sense of identity. The comfortable certainty of our isolation is gone, replaced by a universe of unknown possibilities. It's like living in a house your whole life, believing you're on a deserted island, only to walk outside one day and see a sprawling, lit-up city on the horizon. The world hasn't changed, but your understanding of it has been broken forever. What many overlooked in the initial scientific frenzy is the deeply personal human element. The initial discovery was made by a small team in Chile. Ordinary people who went to work one day and found themselves at the epicenter of the greatest discovery in human history. This story is not just about aliens and strange metals. It's about our own capacity for wonder, our relentless curiosity, and how we, as a species, react in the face of the truly unknown. Already we see the fault lines forming. There's denial frantic attempts to explain it all away with exotic natural phenomena. There's fear, with wild theories spreading across the internet. And there's a quiet, profound sense of awe. Will we meet this revelation with fear and division, trying to turn it into a weapon or an asset in our petty global squabbles? Or will we see it for what it is, a shared moment for every single person on Earth, a chance to look up and feel a sense of unity and purpose? The object itself may be silent, but its presence speaks volumes about our own future. We are left with more questions than answers. Is this a peaceful explorer, a harbinger of something more, or just a relic of a long dead civilization? We may never know for sure. As 3i Atlas prepares for its final flyby of Jupiter, before Sling shotting back into the interstellar darkness, we are left to watch and wonder. The object will soon be gone, but its impact will be felt for generations. A new frantic space race is likely to begin, not for the moon or Mars, but to build technology capable of intercepting the next visitor. We now live in a world where we know we are not alone. The sky above will never look the same again. 
Is Three Eye Atlas a friendly greeting or a silent warning? Let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more mysteries from the cosmos.